Thanks, Graham, uh, for those lovely words. Uh, good to see a lot of uh, people here this evening, and I uh, just want to say uh, that Ngan Kurt Duk Dukuning Jenning in Kumba Mam and Yoga Ya Kuling Walwani at Bujara Yai. Um Nunaka the Kadijan, uh Budawan Ngan Jenning in Winji Wa, Wabling uh Fremantle City Council. Nyin uh Ngan Budi, Nalaka the Kur Kuling uh Yan Yunga Kadich Wanga Winji Wa. So uh, what I was really talking about was the Fremantle Visions and about people looking ahead to see where we we're going to go and what path we were going to pursue. So I just wanted to remind you about what we're here for tonight. Uh, too many distinguished uh, men and women here tonight to uh, uh, point out. And of course, it's a bit bright out the front, I can't actually see who you good people are. But of course, uh, without going to say, Graham, uh, thanks for those kind words. And, of course, Bradley, he's always uh, seems to be at the front, being the mayor, I suppose. That's what happens when you're the mayor, you get to have a say. But um, I, uh, with the Welcome to Country, uh, it's, it's a, an event which I think Fremantle Council prides itself on, and it's always on the agenda. And uh, um, it's part of the old culture of Fremantle. And um, just reminds us that uh, it, is, it is probably one of the oldest cultural phenomena uh, in, in Australian public ceremony, the Welcome to Country, always carried out by... Uh, traditional owners, basically uh, to uh, tell people that it's a safe place to be, that we acknowledge it here, and uh, we're looking forward to catch up and have a chat with you. Keeping in mind, I know it's really busy, and Vita's written out the rules to me, and said, Len, keep it short, because we know those Aboriginal stories can go on and on and on. And of course, uh, never want to upset Vita, I always uh, say, yeah, Vita, what did you say, Vita? So uh, I've got a little stone in my pocket, and uh, Brad, if you um, would... Uh, pop up this way because I know you're going to probably be the next, next speaker, one of the next speakers. And um, I think we can talk footy in Fremantle because the docks are doing well. And uh, of course, uh, I've got a little uh, magic stone here and it's a little dog on it because uh, obviously the home of the Bulldogs. Of course, the Sharks, I'm sure, have got something to say about that um, on, the other side, the, uh, on, on the other side of Frio. But Brad, here's a little dog. Here's a little dog there. And of course, just to remind people about the Dreamtime dog, here in, uh, in Wailingup, in the dream time, when the Wild Ruler uh, set it all up, he said to the dog that the dog, you've got to guard the mouth of the river. And of course, we know the big red dog um, symbolically represents that uh, spiritual phenomena, uh, prominently uh, over um, on the north side of the river looking out to sea. The dog also manifests itself as an icon of the football club, the South Mountain Footy Club. And also, as we get around the traps, we see more dogs, uh, icons popping up around the traps. And that's not by some uh, uh, quirk of nature. That's part of the spiritual uh, phenomena that lives in this country. It's the dog story. So I'm going to finish on that note by playing a little tune on the didgeridoo. And one of my old, uh, one of my, uh, old professors uh, down at Cuss there, Peter Newman, I saw Peter. Where is he? Where's Peter? There he is. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Uh, Peter, I, I thought I'd bring in the, uh, the new dig. <laughs> Prominently marked with the uh, colours of green now. <laughs> and, um, so I thought I'd come and show it off tonight, and uh, I, knew, I know Peter would be very uh, envious and jealous because he's got a beauty over there at Cusp. <laughs> Thank you. 